the importance of electricity as a driver of economic growth and development in any society cannot be overemphasized, considering its necessity across almost every sector. It is in recognition of this fact that the President Muhammad Buhari led administration through the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority took up the task of funding the development and construction of a 10 megawatt solar power project in the Chalawa Industrial Area of Kumbotso, local government area of Kano State. It is essentially a demonstration project where we have a fundamental understanding around how to build a renewable energy project around the capitalization, around the structuring, around the operation and, um, and maintenance of such projects. I think this project allows NSI to retool um, in that regard to, to ensure that we are able to essentially proliferate exactly these kinds of projects across the country. The project team set up a project vehicle with an ownership structure of 80% federal government through Ministry of Finance Incorporated, 15% ownership with Kano State and 5% with Kumbosu local government. The company was named Haske Solar Company and Haske is a word that is synonymous with light in Hausa. The demonstration pilot project, which aims to stimulate investment in the Nigerian power sector, sits on a 24 hectare of land allocated by the Kano State Government, was handled by Owell Nigeria and Green Cells Consortium Germany, who emerged as preferred bidders, having gone through an extensive two-stage process that received interest from at least 67 local and international companies. Electricity from the traditional system, the NEPA, is not adequate in Nigeria today. Hydro is costly. It's only when you have dam or when you have rivers that you can be able to produce hydroelectricity. But solar, especially Kano being in a Sahel area, is blessed with a lot of sunshine. 71.1% of the sunshine within one day is being is, is, is available in Kano State. The Kano Solar Project was fully funded by the Federal Government of Nigeria. NSI has acted as the project manager and fund manager to ensure the end-to-end -end design of the, of the project is completed and um, the delivery of power to industrial customers is also completed. When we first started the project, one of the most important things was to engage the community. Um, we found out what their needs were, as well as educating them on the project that we were coming to build. Um, one of the things that they um, really demanded for was an access road that links one community to the other. And this is the stretch of the road. It's about shy of three kilometers long, um, which is currently being constructed by the project team. Part of our commitment to corporate social responsibility, um, we identified um, a government secondary school where we could provide a few amenities and also ren renovate some existing amenities. Um, behind me is um, a classroom box fully renovated by the EPC contractors um, for this project and there's also behind me is a solar powered borehole. Um, we, all, we believe that corporate social responsibility is an important facet of both the NSIA and also this project. So we are committed to delivering more um, projects to this community moving forward. The largest solar plant in Nigeria and the first under the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority's renewable energy platform will also facilitate growth in the power sector and provide direct and indirect jobs to residents in the host community. All this will not have been achieved without the purposeful and visionary leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari who gave the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority the needed incentive to partner with other stakeholders such as Kano State Government and Kumbotso Local Government to execute the flagship project with promises to be revolutionary in Nigeria's quest to gradually move from hydro and fossil fuel generated electricity in favor of clean alternative energy sources. <laughs> Nigeria, Okuma government in Kano, the Ma government in Kumbuzo local government, the Sikas Ayas Katabata, the Chia Anyuana Aiki, Mana Gudia, where they escape, Mana Mana Patanga, a chick about the Samu in one Ayika, our Nakarama Okuma, the one Nakasawa.
It's been exciting to have been part of this momentous project, which has been over three years in the making. We had to navigate through COVID restrictions and lockdowns, supply chain disruptions, and other project-specific challenges that you'd expect from a first-of-a-kind um, project such as this. For NSIA, we begin to essentially justify why we are that um, partner of choice for the government in terms of um, undertaking complex, consequential projects um, within difficult infrastructure sectors.